Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. Uh, this week, uh, our problem actually uh, is inspired by a comment on our Worldwide Calculus Anti-Differentiation video, which is a, a companion video series to our Worldwide uh, Integral Calculus or, um, book. So the, the comment was, uh, could we make a anti-differentiation rule based on the quotient rule. And we can, um, but the problem is when you compare that to the regular, uh, what's it called? The, the uh, regular uh, rule for integration by parts, uh, which is the anti-differentiation rule for the product rule, uh, then uh, this kind of becomes uh, almost obsolete in most cases. Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is integrate both sides of this equation, which we both, or which we all know and love from calculus one. So integrating both sides. Um, if you notice, we can split this up into uh, a sum of two uh, quotients, and this integral. Of course, we're integrating with respect to x, so this integral is going to wipe out the derivative, so we have so now we have um, uh, kind of a more simplified version of what we have here after we integrate so we're just going to uh, substitute in uh, what do I have here? Uh, u as g of x and v as f of x, so that uh, it's a little easier to work with and uh, see what's going on. So here's uh, what we're looking at now, just uh, in terms of u and v. However, we want something that we can actually use, that we can recognize, like uh, when we recognize for the uh, product rule, anti-differentiation rule, um, then we recognize we have uh, u dv. So what, what jumps out, as, at us, out at us here is this integral of dv over u. So we're going to isolate that. Um, so this is our anti-differentiation formula for the quotient rule. Um, and you notice it kind of looks a little similar to our uh, product rule uh, anti-differentiation formula, which is just your standard integration by parts. Um, but we're going to look at what happens when we have 1 over u is equal to our u prime and we have just regular dv. So um, now we're going to compare this with um, what we get when we do the uh, integration by parts formula on that. Um, so we're going to look at what we get when we integrate this by parts, when we do this by, uh, yeah. Um, so I have integral of dv prime over u prime, and I just have these primes to, so that we don't get confused because we'll use u and v again, just because that's what I'm used to. Uh, so when we're going to uh, set let So now u equals 1 over u prime, du equals negative 1 over u prime squared. dv, of course, is just going to be equal to uv prime. v equals v prime. So plugging this into our regular old integration by parts formula, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So 
So um, as we can see, we have this. Um, we have this, which is exactly equal to what we get when we derived the quotient rule for integration. So it's not really useful to, to hold on to that, uh, this uh, quotient anti-differentiation rule. Uh, I also forgot this du prime here. But that, I mean, I, it comes up there. So yeah, thank you for watching this uh, problem of the week. If you enjoyed it, be sure to stick around for more problems of the week or to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website where you can find a, a wonderful book on all integral and differentiation, differential calculus. Uh, thanks again for watching and have a good day.